Bolter Ni Hao! Welcome back to the Game Boys channel. I'm Johnny. And I'm Tim. And today we're here with a box swap! I'm so happy! Yes! <laughs> The third one of the year, the final one to close out the year. Wait, where were the other two? I know ours, that was one. We did that, like, Halloween one. Oh, yes! Yes, I thought you meant a vlogmas. If you have not ca caught our sentimental box swap that Tim and I did with each other, we will link that video above and below. Yeah, but um, we were, like, considering having more people in, and then... Um, Gwen and Lauren, of course, were game, but then we're like, you know what, no, we want to do a, another box swap with Gwen and Lauren, since, like, we're such good friends. So, we thought of a new concept called... Tim thought of. Well, me and Lauren. Lauren and of. Tim. It's called the, um, Disney Christmas Carol box swap, because if you've seen the movie, which I'm sure everyone has, you know there's, like, the ghost of Christmas presents past and future so we thought it would be cool to have you know a box swap where you do past gift present gift future gifts so we thought um we would do like maybe two for each person in each category but instead of having like one of us assigned to one of them we decided it would be easier to have um just both of us gift something to Lauren, both of us gift something to Gwen, so it's not like, you know... Unmanageable, yes. Yeah. And but I mean, we're both, of course, they clearly went over by the size of this box, and we sent them three boxes. <laughs> so if you are coming to us from the Dis Family Adventure channel, welcome. We hope that you enjoy it here on our channel. And if you, after the, our video, want to go check their video out, we encourage well, you to you do so. Me too, to yes. see what we gave them. And they're awesome. I'm sure you know them if you're watching us. So yeah, we're excited. They decorated this box very cute. Um, we're not gonna lift it because it's very heavy. But they put on stickers from like the 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 um the old vintage, like what is that aesthetic from like Elf? This and is from um, Rudolph. Rudolph. But it's like all the it's the same animation style that they like use for the beginning of Elf, that like Franklin and Bolt or whatever. It's it has like they're like the two people who like did it. It has a stylistic name. Um, but like I love that little. Vintage. Oh, and side note, it's awesome. So, like, this is posting on Wednesday, and on Saturday, we're hanging out with Gwen, Lauren, and the family because we're going to Disney World over Christmas. Aww. Uh, Franklin and Bob Bo We did not decorate our box inside just because there was too much to do. Oh, this is cute. I don't know if you could see it, but there's like the candy canes with some like little stickers on. You can see this one. Yeah. yeah. And that is what they did on all of the sizes. And the first thing Tim said was to open up this beautiful card. So Christmas Carol box swap, Tim and Johnny. When I was a kid, that like the ghost of Pris Christmas future was so scary because he was like with the chains and like showed like Wait no that was Bob Marley. Bob Marley had the chains. And then the ghost of Christmas Future was just the guy that didn't say anything. It was, was like pointed. no phase. Yeah, and he kind of looked like the Grim Reaper. Very Simpsons Treehouse of Terror. Although I think I did talk about this in a... Pr oh! Have a Wally Jolly Christmas. <laughs> have a Wally Jolly Aww, Christmas. That's cute. Don't let any happy moment go to waste. Oh, because I get it. He takes care of trash. <laughs> Merry Christmas. It's always fun doing a box swap with you both. Sometimes I feel like I'm shopping for myself. LOL. Past, present, and future gifts are labeled. Individual gifts are marked. If it doesn't have a tag, it's for the both of you. Hope you love everything. See you soon. Love Gwen, Lauren, and the rest of the fam. Uh, what's funny is, um, so they are personal shoppers at Walt Disney World. So, like, we felt like we couldn't really get them anything from the parks because, like... They, they have everything? They get it themselves yeah. and they see it. So, like... It was kind of tricky for us to shop, but I think we did a good job. And I would say this with the word us. I think that that is a very generous use of the word us, because it is mostly Timmy, because Timmy is the best shopper. Oh my god, I see something on top, and I, I they posted this on their pickup page, and I commented like, oh my god, that's a thing? I love it, it's so cute. <gasps> they threw it in for us. It's Hank plush from Finding Dory. Aww. This is so cute. His little tentacles. I wanted him. I was really like, 
we've said a couple of times on our channel, like, we really think they could do a, um, third. Fi finding third, and it'll be finding Hank. Like, how cute would that be? Because Hank was so sweet. Oh my gosh, look at him. His eyes, he's like, give me your tag. Oh, that's very Christmas. Get it? Like, tag? Oh! <laughs> and, like, you could see his little, like, fuzzies and his, like, you can't see his three hearts, but. <laughs> oh my god, look at his little booty. He's so cute. And look at the bottom. Oh my gosh, I love this. This was actually on my list to buy when we're there, so I could cross it off. That's so cute. I, I didn't know that the like, octopus had these like, cute little calamari ears. They're so adorable. <laughs> oh. You could, so, you could make it a oh hat. Oh my god, this kind of looks like something that I'm not going to say. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I see something for you. <gasps> oh, I have this on my Christmas wish list. Oh, they are Mickey slippers, and I will show you that I'm wearing a pair right now. And so here's why I always need Mickey slippers. is because A, for a beat, I thought that they were discontinuing them, and I got really worried. B, I wear, I don't know if it's because, actually I know why. I walk very heavy. Yes. <laughs> very heavy. Oh my gosh, it's like being like a kid again. When I was a kid, my mom always used to say when I would walk, she would then later, like every few months, like go to our china cabinet and she would see the like the slide of like dust and stuff on the china cabinet of all of our glass were moving from how heavy I walk on the floor. <laughs> Still true. So I have a tendency to like wear through these like really quickly, especially on the bottom. And so I only get like normally one season like a year worth of use out of a pair so I always so thank you this is this is quickly becoming a new or not quickly it has become a new holiday tradition that when Tim and I put out our Christmas decorations I get out a new pair and then I see how long they last <laughs> so thank you it's so soft I actually um, starting in December I opened a new pair for me because like You're my other ones have worn and like they're so soft and cushy like plushes when you first put them on they're so nice and then over the over time they just get like thinner until like at the very end it's just like not even existed okay okay so they said so... well, i'm on one side you're oh i see an envelope for tati uh, she's kind of crabby today um so i think this is for both of us Ooh, yummy i didn't know they had a mixture with pretzels. Ooh. Ooh! It's from the Epcot International Festival, which we're going to for the, not for uh, the first time. Yeah, we've, Tim and I went. No, because we were there for New Year's. They're still open, I think, on New Year's. Yeah, we went to the New Year's stuff, but we, we didn't, didn't really enjoy We didn't go it. to the festival, no. We spent Epcot uh, that year for New Year's. We, oh, that was the year that we went to Epcot for New Year's, and then we spent, we rang in the New Year for every country, which was super fun and, like, something that I highly encourage. But this is the first year that we're actually going to be there, like, on Christmas, because I think we've only been there, like, the 28th through, like, January 1st. But regardless, look at this wonderful mix of holiday treats. You can see there's some caramel popcorn in there. There's some tie-dyed green popcorn. There's some looks like M&M's and some white yogurt chocolate covered pretzels. So Tim and I definitely love enjoying in holiday treats like this. And so we'll have to share this. So I think <gasps> I see something that is amazing. I do too! Because we wanted this one because Oh my god, this is a sipper. You guys read our minds because we bought the um, Cinemark one. It's a popcorn bucket. And, like, he's winking, which isn't our favorite star. We, yeah, we like star with eyes open. And he doesn't light up or anything. And we were going to buy this when we went to the park. So you guys are just crossing off stuff from our list. Star! And he's our absolute favorite because... Like, he's the cutest. And this actually, they didn't probably know this, but this is actually a gift of Christmas present because this is how we started our year this year. Yeah, we saw this the day it released. Oh my god, look at Star. Wish is one of our absolute favorites at the moment. It's getting, like, Encanto up there with it. 
So it's a sipper, so like it comes down. How does it do it? Does it come down? Yeah. So it comes down like that. Or you can open it all the way to put your drink in. Okay, we're gonna have to figure out how this lights up. Oh my god, look at how yeah! How does he turn on though? Oh. <gasps> oh no, they do have batteries. Ah! Look at this little <laughs> Albany. Oh! Oh, oh my, my god, he's so cute. That's a good light up that too. That is. Oh, oh my star. god. Star! <gasps> oh, we are so obsessed. Thank you guys so much. We were hoping that he would still be there when we're there, but now we don't have to worry about it. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Wait, That's how do you put so your drink in? Oh, I get it. But like, we don't want to use it for that. No, it's, oh my god. Nice. Sippers are getting to be so much cuter than I think popcorn buckets. Yeah, I agree. The and Donald one, it was like, cause like a lot of the popcorn buckets, they don't light up or do anything. So it's like the sippers. Well, and they get so big, right? Like, sippers are so much more. I don't know if we could put that in there cause I think you're gonna see through. No. A little bit. Not really though. Ooh, look at her twirl. <laughs> Hi, Jim. We could crochet an outfit for him, too. <laughs> like a little, like, sassy walk. Oh, thank oh you. God, thank you, guys. I love him. I have a feeling that more people will start talking about Wish once it drops on streaming, kind of yeah. like in Kanto, and then people will be like, we love Star! And we'll be like, join the bandwagon. We've been at it for so long. <laughs> um, I see Whoa. a cute little envelope for Tati, but we are going to, as Tim said, she is being a little diva kitty right now so we're gonna open with this her later and we will insert a video of her enjoying this curious uh oh Tati will like treats Tati will like treats so don't uh, <laughs> do it once oh dear Tati it's okay uh oh, more treats. You don't need those. Oh, Tati Mice. Oh, look at Tati Mouse. Tati Blue Mouse. Oh, blue Mouse. Tati. Oh, Tati likes mouse. <laughs> oh, she likes a little baby. Yes, we haven't had any this season. No, I actually, we like took a break from getting them for a while. And so it is the holiday season of treats where I'm just like, it's that my, I think I've talked about this maybe in previous years, but it's my favorite time to eat because it's just like charcuterie boards and sweets. So like I actually don't have to eat anything. I can just graze all day like a cow. It's like the best way of eating because like I eat anyway, like unconventionally times anyway. I eat when I'm hungry, right? So it's like, it works perfectly for me. So there will be two for me and two for Tim. And it's best used even after we get back from our trip so we don't have to eat these all right away. And we and don't have to buy them when we're there. Oh, are we? We do, and then I can have some that take me into January. <laughs> that is awesome. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm still looking at Star. I love him. All right, this one I think is for both because there's no tag. Very nice wrapping paper or wrapping job. Okay, so it says something sketched up. Oh, this is so cute. So it's a train ornament set. Tim, but you could actually, instead of putting them in on a train, village. you can put them like on a village that's like around the thing. Yes. We need to really, next year, probably need, to, your village has gotten so big, we yeah. should put it somewhere else to really spread out Disney World. Oh my god, this that's is so, so cute. cute. They've been doing a lot of lounge show pins like this, where it's like all the characters and you need them to connect. But this is so, so cute. You can probably see them better like this, without the glare. Oh, This is so cute. This is going to look awesome with our village. Thank you, guys. All right, the next thing I see are two stockings. So I think there's one for Tim and one for me. So I'm just going to grab this one that says Johnny. And then let's, <laughs> do you want to do yours kind of same simultaneously? So I have a green uh, stock. Oh my gosh, that's kind of appropriate, Tim, that we did this without yes. even realizing this. 
that I wore green today and you wore red. That's funny. That's funny. So a fun, festive stocking full of goodies and beautifully labeled with Johnny. Alright. Uh, oh! Cute. We Spoiler alert, we gave them these because I didn't realize that this is also, these like candy cane sticks are part of like always wearing my stockings as a kid. So this is a, mm -hmm. uh, a feeling of Christmas present. Pass. My mom would always give me these. Which one did you uh, get? I got the Reese's. Do you want to trade for Twix or do you no. like Reese's? Okay. Mm -hmm. I like Reese's. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. Yay. Okay, now I have packages. And then I have, ooh, I think this is from the parks. This is milk chocolate and Lubecca white chocolate of a gingerbread. So this is from the parks. I want to say it's from one of the resorts. Ooh, so that's going to be yummy. I'm going to eat this tonight for sure. I have this box. Do you have a box? Go ahead. Oh, okay. I see a red top with a date, which means that font says Hallmark ornament. <gasps> oh! Wow. I didn't know this was an ornament this either. year. He always plays We Have a Kristoff one. He always plays it. Well, because this is one of my favorite scenes when she's like, oh, I like you in leather. <laughs> so this is the Hallmark keepsake of Kristoff and Anna from Frozen 2. So let us see our handsome bride and groom. And like I've been saying, Frozen's been like very, very up there for us this year. Oh, love this. Look how cute they look. So I love that this is framed by Anna's kind of cape cloak, right? So like it's blue and purple and soups with this beautiful pattern behind her. But what it does is it really creates this beautiful picture around Kristoff and Anna. So there's Anna, kind of like that like 1940s like... Uh, World War II picture where her leg is up and then there's Kristoff looking up at Anna so lovingly the way I look up at Tim and she's looking back at him and they're dancing. Oh, I love this. Uh, he's so handsome. They got him good too. They normally don't get his face as good. Mm -mm. I'm keeping this out because I have to get hooks downstairs anyway, so I'll get a hook for that after this. Ooh, look at that booty. <laughs> Alright, I have one of those too. So this is pretty. Such a nice wrapping. Oh. So mine's a 2023. Oh, that's cute. We'll always remember this swap. So this is called the Mickey's Christmas Carol. Oh, look at how cute this is. I mean, I haven't seen this one. So I wonder if they did what we did, like trying to think outside, like, what would they not get themselves? <laughs> oh my god, this is so cute! It's like, um, I don't know that word. 3D? 2D? 3D? But it looks like, like a wreath, and then it also looks like a moment in time. There's Scrooge, and then the back says Mickey's Christmas Carol, which is so cute, because that's our swap. So the next thing I have is I see a little, uh, it's like padded. So I think based on the size, this might be a pin. <gasps> oh, this is also on our list of things to look for. Oh my God. Yes. You guys are so good. You oh my gosh. You found, you must have shopped at the site. I wanted this I, so we bad. We both did. Because we were like, we're gonna wait because we're going in the parks. Oh, see, look at us being patient and waiting. Now, I, there's gonna be so much more room to buy other stuff when we're there, yes. including something that we did see in Dis Family's video today. I'm calling this shot right now. There's a Machiavelli uh, cuddles, which we're gonna keep an eye out for that. Right. Uh, so, this is the beautiful. Um, Frozen friends pin, which is interesting because like Sven and Kristoff are put as friends and Olaf, which is crazy. But you have Marshmallow up there on the top of his uh, mountain with Elsa. You have a really cute scene of Olaf in summer with a little bee around him. You have Oaken. Yoo-hoo! You have Kristoff. That's his name. I don't know. Is that like what his name is? Oaken? I have no idea what his name is. It's like Comment below what his actual name is, but that's what I call him. And then there's Fen, and then there's the 
trolls and Papa Trolls. So love this. We've been getting so much more frozen pens that Tim and I really need to expand and redo our frozen board. Yeah. Because and I bought all those pink on one ones too. <laughs> yes. I also, there's a great fantasy pin you have of Kristoff, the one I'm looking in the mirror that I love. Oh, thank uh, you. Maybe I'm adding, I've been calling all of these things. In addition to Moana, I'm also adding, and Harry Potter, I'm also adding Kristoff into my collection. <laughs> stuff I want to start collecting. All right, so I think this is a pin as well. <gasps> is that another one that was on our list? Yes, it's the other one I wanted. Ah! So it's interesting, like I was looking at these two and like you said, like, these aren't supporting. These are, like, pretty much all the characters. Except for Mirabelle. So I guess they're kind of, like, doing... It. I'm obsessed with this. And guess what? It's everyone with powers that's not... And they still let off Except Tia. Except for the parents. Tia and, and Julieta. Well, at least Julieta's not out there. Yeah, but and then them? they also threw in this, because I love my Reese tree. I love this series. We have every single one of these besides, like, Star Wars and Marvel, I think. But... These are such cool pens. So you have Luisa, um, Antonio, Isabella, Dolores, Abuela, Bruno, and Camillo. This is stunning. Oh my gosh, you guys are just like killing it with things that we wanted. You guys are so stunning. Smart, and right. you know us so well. So like we, that is what's so great about this relationship that we've had with this family for so long is that like it is like shopping and knowing like an extent like part of your extended family. Like it's really mm -hmm. cool, and like it's just so thoughtful. All right, there's a. Oh yay! <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so cute. I'm gonna. Oh, I have two things. I'm gonna pull out two things because I just grabbed it. So the first thing I see is this beautiful Slytherin pen, which, yes, and because I'm trying to build up, I just said it, oh my gosh, that I'm trying to build up my Harry Potter collection this year. And so... Yeah, before we filmed this, he was talking about, like, moving his Funkos because we have tons of shelves over here now, and he wants a Harry Potter shelf. And so I so does Lawrence. You guys are twins. Love this. Thank you. And I will say it wearing my green ears that I'm a proud Slytherin. There's nothing shameful about that. One bad Slytherin does not a whole define an entire house. So <laughs> right? So here is the next thing that we have. These are the Zoom Zoom Mystery Pack Series 4. We are still on the lookout for that dear, one. Dear, 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 dear. Oh, oh, we used to have this one too. What is it? It's Sleeping Beauty. Oh. So we're getting all the ones oh. that we got rid of. Here, I'm gonna uh, quickly put yeah, this while you together. do this, I'll show the next item in mine. So I see, ooh, some Skittles. And then I see, oh! I didn't know these were out yet. What? Wish mystery pins. We were going to look for these when we went there. Oh my gosh, you guys. And then they're just stocking up on all our favorite candies. Oh, that's upside down. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so we're going to have like all the wish pins. And that's then all. these are the ones that are things. So it's um, Valentino, Valentino with Star, Asha with Doc, Star on its own. Asha with star, Asha with star again, and then queen, and then magnifico. All right, so this is the really cute bed that we put together for Miss Rapunzel at in Aurora, her, Aurora in her blue dress. Which is your favorite dress. Not anymore. I'm team pink now. And then here is the green one, so this is Falora following her around. So cute, yay. All right, so we're gonna open these now. Man, I'm so excited. I actually hope I got Star alone. Oh, was what, Tim, you're sharing? Oh, I'm sorry. Aww. Let me go first, though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what the app is. No, you said them. Oh, this is a good one. It's Asha with Star, and Star's doing like like he's like hunched over like doing the like Macarena. <laughs> Aw, it looks like he's about to eat. He's like, oh. he reminds me of Kirby. No, he's like stretching on her. Oh. Like, Ooh, okay. This is pro this is uh, Doc and Asha. Yeah. I mean, we wanted all of these, but. Yeah, we will. 
But I'm so excited for this one. Thank you guys. Look at that. It looks like he's kind of like trying to be Bruni or like he's a better Bruni. <laughs> but he's stretching out on her and she's like, oh, you. And then <laughs> there's her and I forget the doc one's Dahlia. name. Oh, yeah. Dahlia. Or Darla? No, it's Dahlia. That is amazing. I didn't even know those were out yet. My name's Dahlia Sin, and I'm from this art. Thank One you, crowns. guys. Okay, so I'm so intrigued by this box, because there's, like, a book. Ooh. Oh! Oh, I get why there was a pen now. I get it now. <laughs> it's like a, it's a journal or a book. Ooh! Uh, so I love... That's cool. It ha So, like, this is really fun. So, the back of this book has this kind of, um ribbed, bumpy spine. Like, it's textured, right? So that's really fun. And then there's this hard metal crest on the front of Salazar Slytherin and this uh, picture of a serpent. And then inside are these uh, beautiful cream uh, parchment papers where I will write my deepest feelings and desires. Oh, Gwen, you need to read this to us. It's a book. Oh, that's fun. And then, I think there's candy, bunch of candy. Oh, I have one too. <gasps> oh, that's so sweet of you. Oh, from your at the can. That's yeah. the that's pearl. No, not pearl. Stop. Because I wanted her, and then I was like, do I need her? But then I was like, I want her still. <laughs> that's really sweet. And then we had a conversation about it, but oh my gosh, yes, they opened up the. Um, Advent calendars from um, Shop Disney of the Munchlings. And this was one of the days. This is the star from um, Finding Nemo. And we have like a lot of the Nemo ones. So like she's going to go awesome. And she's a sugar cookie. Some M&M minis. And then waffle cone caramel. Ooh, that sounds good. And then we have a Sour Patch Kids Christmas book, which is like a comic. So it says, I want to be Gwen, so I'm going to read it. What do we do? Wait, what do we need reindeer for anyways? Crash. Staring appropriately. My sleigh is broken and it's Christmas Eve. Now I'm going to have to make it on time. We'll fix it. <laughs> First they're sweet and then they're, what's it called? This will give Santa a little boost. And so they're scaring Santa sugar high. And then it says, ta-da! Good as new. Well, it looks fast, but does it have the horsepower to get me back on schedule? Tus bang! Yep. <laughs> Christmas is saved. Does this mean we're back on the sweet list? Happy holidays. I uh, never answered that question. That's cute. <laughs> right? And then I got one of these Zoom Zoom series for. So when Johnny does the rest of his, I'll show you guys what I got. Oh, Buzz Lightyear and lots of. Oh, fun. All right. That's a good one. You dumped everything out of your last stocking. Mm -hmm. All right. I. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, okay. Aw, th I also got... It's the same story. A, yeah, and again, it, it, it leaves with them asking if they were on the nice list and that question really never getting answered. So love these, because we love Sour Patch Kids. Then I got some Gummy Nerds Cluster, which... I recently tried these at D&D the other day, or a few months ago, and these were really good. So thank you for these. These are really good. They're like gum. I because I like like a nerd is so small, right? So like the clusters really make them work. Oh my gosh, this is so cute! I didn't know this was a thing. So this is a Christmas at Hogwarts candle that is smells like frosted pine. My candle. Oh, that's a good candle, and it's a wood wick. Which means it's gonna crackle and burn with like that extra little smell and sound effect That's of like fun. so it really makes that nice. That smells good. Ooh, that smells like Christmas tree pine. And look, look at the cute little owl. Aww. And then the last thing I included in my stocking, which I'm so excited about, is a Slytherin holiday keychain, which are so cute. 
So I use these actually sometimes if bags don't have zipper pulls, I actually use these on like lounge fly bags. So instead of putting a whole keychain on there, I'll just use a pair of needle nose pliers and like move it. So like so cute. Thank you. And then I got Lotso, which is perfect. So we didn't have this one. There's the truck. And then there's Lotso, and he came with a little buzz that just kind of goes on top of him. That's so cute. Yeah, I was getting so happy and caught up in that moment that I forgot there was more <laughs> Right? I was like, yay, Christmas! My goodness, where did we even start? Well, we should want to do with those two. Um, sure. Are they labels? They're not labeled. They're not labeled, so is so one what if they're like no. Okay, then oh. Well these are things they said were for both of us that aren't labeled. So you open the first know. one and then I'll Maybe go. it'll say Maybe it says the name of okay. Ooh! What Ooh. is that? Oh, so, so this is shared. Yeah. Maybe we'll get to pick our faves. But cute little um, gift bag with red fire truck. So they are bath bombs. <gasps> Ooh! Yeah. Mm. We love a bath bomb. I we just do. took a bomb bath yesterday, coming home from traveling. They are from Basin. Um. Oh, it's like a little... Um, Kit! You made like a little like... Pouch. I think they come like this in the store, maybe. Oh! Because it says to, from, so basin, so it comes with a bar of soap, which is adorable. Yeah, we're obsessed with basin and lush, and we don't get basin enough because it's like, you know, we have lush stores around us. So this is a bath bomb. Oh my gosh. This actually smells like a perfume my aunt may, um, wears. Mm -hmm. So it's very like holly mistletoe-y, which that will be nice. And then it comes with this cute little Mickey bar soap with all the Christmas trees on it. All right, I like this. So you'll see in our video uh, that we use like these gift tags and we tried to make use all the different ones we had. And we actually used one with a red truck for Miss Gwen because we thought she would like the truck. <laughs> all right, I'm opening this one. And I love that you took those gift bags and then rewrapped them into these like other, oh, I see, you taped it down. The light blue iridescent, sh like gossamer, gossamer bag. Uh. Loves making up covers. Gossamer! No, we talked about this in the previous video this year. It was <laughs> I like, know. This is therapy, I think. Do you want this one yeah, instead? Yeah, Tim and I will trade because we can trade. So this is the therapy bath bomb, and these are great. It creates this, like, blue light cream, which is lovely. And then I love this really cute uh, snowflake soap with hidden Mickeys in it. So this is great to have as a bar hand soap for guests. To Johnny past a past release. So it's your past But guest. I just want it. I know, it's the first one I saw. Just okay. <laughs> So, Merry Christmas, a past release. All they right. did what we did. They put bows on the, um... The Christmas, the what? Yeah. The, like, categories. Um, okay. So, I'm assuming this is a past release pin. <gasps> Ooh! It's the past. We, so Tim and I have d uh, collected this season very differently. I don't even know what's coming out next year. Are there good pin series that I, like, want to collect monthly again next year? That's what I know. Who is it? Who is it? <gasps> oh! Oh! We were debating whether or not to get some of these, and I'm so happy that we didn't get this one. Mm. Oh, That's these are cute. cute. So this was the arcade series, um, and you may or may not have seen this series this year, but these are remind me of the Kingdom console and the iHeart Gaming series. But these were cute because it was actually the full console, and each of the um, pins had this cute little dangling element of a coin that would go into the slot machine, or slot machine, <laughs> into the R uh, thing. I get, okay, that's actually an interesting thing. Slot machines are 
arcade games are how I got into slot machines probably and then there's always this like little moving element of like the controller and then what I love about these pins there's stitch running away from what's his face but I love that in the top corner they always include the uh, year that the film was released as an easter egg of like collectible coins or tokens so this one says 2002 thank you <gasps> all right oh my god that's so funny we gave them, we gave this to them too. <laughs> we did, we did a box for the fam and we put this in here. So this is for, it says four year movie nights, which is funny because I actually wanted, like I was thinking after I bought it for them, I was like, oh, these tins would have been cute for us. Because we just do popcorn in like a big bowl, but we love Pop Secret and we could each have our own. So I actually that, really like having our own now. Yeah, I do too. Well, what I like it about the little individual ones is then I can put like M&Ms or other chocolate in there and we can make our own artisanal popcorn. Mm -hmm. What? Oh, the and they come with dots in there too. Oh, I love dots. I don't like dots. Um, that it, when Lauren said on the original card that it was like shopping for her, it is, that is funny. That is All funny. Right. Let's see if this one says Tim. Alright, so I found my past gift. So this says, to Tim, a past release. <gasps> That's so cute. And I'm guessing it might be a pin. Can't tell what it is yet. Oh, oh! I didn't even know this was a thing. So this is from Frozen 10 Years, which um, I'm obsessed with Frozen this year. I bought a, myself a spare jersey, a lounge fly to bring to the um, Epcot. Some gym shore. Well, I can't bring that to Epcot. Oh, I true. didn't get any frozen gym shores. Did you get the Kristoff one? No. You bought me oh, that. Oh, I gave you that because oh, of your frozen kick. Oh, I forgot things. You bought me that for my birthday. Oh, uh, that's true. God is memory. <laughs> uh, so, speaking of memory, water has memory. There is Olaf. And it says Frozen. And then if you could see closely, there's like different Olafs along uh, each of the tops here. Oh, that's cute. Awesome. In summer. All right, I see this long oh thing that I think is for the both of us. So I'm going to open this. And beautiful Candy Cane Lane. Candy Cane Lane. It, it, it does look like an art print, which is super exciting. Oh! Oh! Oh, I love this. That's pretty. This is the same um, cutout that the cat one you got had. Mm -hmm. So we will eat, go get a frame because these are so easy to frame. We get all of up, most of ours on Amazon just because you can really get sizes and colors. But look at this beautiful print of, uh, I will take it out. And on the back it has, oh, Michigan. I'm uh, Dylan Boomer is a freelance illustrator from Michigan, Grand Rapids, Michigan. And, oh, he's like me. He liked Little Mermaid growing up. So love this bio. But look at this beautiful print of Hercules and Megara. He looks so predatory and creepy. And she's like, nope, get away from me. And then there's his little minions, paid on panic, bring the ah, paid on panic. Love this. Oh, this is going to be, go beautiful. Probably in like a dark black frame to really help uh, continue the mat around the border. And that could go in our villain's bathroom. Yes! Oh, we need new art for our Disney villain bathroom. We haven't updated that in forever. So thank you. Oh, that's so pretty. And what's even more special is they gifted us a Pain and Panic figure last year, and Pain and Panic are on this, so it's like a tradition, apparently. I love that. Aww. That's really nice. I like that a lot. Beautiful. So, such good taste, thank you. Yes. So, um, I guess we'll just do this. It says, in case you wanted a hippopotamus for Christmas. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Only a hippopotamus. Ooh. We'll yes, do. it is some. Um, Ooh. I want to say park candy or treats. 
So you have some Rice Krispie treats. I wonder if these are the ones Gwen made. Or oh. if this is from the parks. No, I bet it's theirs, because like I've never seen some of this stuff and before. This one <gasps> is... Like those Baymax uh, marshmallows that were uh, covered in uh, chocolate dipped marshmallows. Thank you, Gwen. We've always wanted to try some of Gwen's um, Rice Krispie treats. And then tell me what that is. Sorry that we're like blanking. It kind of looks like Car. Um, Later. Lightning McQueen. Oh. But it also looks like a gingerbread man. And yeah, I believe these are Gwen's Rice Krispie Treats because I know she made some. So yes, we're going to eat these tonight also. Yummy. So this is, I think everything in here are, the last things are labeled gifts for Tim and me. So let's, Let's do this last present first. Okay, this is the last one for both of us. And this, I had to show up this paper. Because it's princesses, but in their um, holiday attire, which you like never see them in these looks a lot. So there's Ariel holding a beautiful ornament, and Aurora in her fur, Pocahontas in hers, Belle, Tiana, love Tiana's cape actually. Mulan just looks like her regular look with a higher collar. That's interesting. Mulan's is just like. Mulan. Yeah. I love Pocahontas's. Pocahontas's is always her outdoor her winter look is cute. Oh! Oh my gosh, I didn't even <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. So as I was going around I saw uh, Cinderella and hers, right? And then I loved this because there was Merida, but they covered her up with Jasmine. Well done, friends. <laughs> yeah, because Merida is a foot. I mean her look is horrible too. Oh, that's funny. Oh wait, I, I've been opening a ball. I opened that one. You can open this one. Rain, 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 rain. Dear, dear, dear. Uh, very pretty presentation. If you've ordered from them in um, their pickups, they always do immaculate um, what's that word? Packaging, packaging. wrapping. So <gasps> it's Christmas. Oh. <gasps> We wanted another like Christmas print too, so this is amazing. Oh dear, it's Christmas. This is a gift to share, a little backstory on it. The artist was there and we had her draw something on the back for you. Hope you love it. I love this postcard too. We could show that. Let's see. It's Christmas. <laughs> Emily. Now I want to know, wait, so I thought these are, this was Thomas Kincaid or something on the back? No, um, the artist was there. They have different artists. Oh, there. I don't, I thought all of the artists, like Thomas just did them all. Oh. <laughs> all right, so there's the information about her. Her name is Taylor. Aww. Wait, has she done other ones that we have? I don't think so. Oh. oh my God, this is beautiful. Oh, and it's all of the characters after they transformed out of their oh maybe not I also love that Belle is unless using the garland as those are just random people unless it's them behind them third oh no I guess not this is beautiful let's see what she drew us <gasps> oh that's cool it's the castle and it she signed it and there's the date 12-5. Aw, thank That's... you. That makes this so special. Yeah, so what's signed art. Oh man, I love the sides. And then the, um, oh, I thought that was an R2 I thought that was like BB-8. R2-B2. <laughs> there's a hidden Mickey. Right oh, that's cute. I don't know if there's a, um, hidden character in this one. I might side. have to look. Like, look in the tree. Sometimes they put it on the front, too. I don't see one, but every time we look at these, we always see. find something yeah. more. Yes. Oh, this is so amazing. I'm so excited to put this in our living room for the art to look at it all the time. So there's Belle and her holiday look and Beast. And apparently these are just people. I don't know. We actually just watched um, Beauty and the Beast, the like Christmas movie on um, Disney Plus, and it was really cute. There are the um, four, oh, chips there too, so five. And then the dog stool, there's the tree, it's beautiful. And then 
there's some girl putting it on the top. <laughs> and then, oh my gosh, this room looks so pretty decorated for Christmas. Let us know if you guys see anything that we're missing. Because uh, they normally do like hidden characters in these. And then along the sides too sometimes. Oh, and then it continues with this guy's helping do the tree. Super, super pretty. I've never seen this. No, I love that she's dancing. Her dress also never looks that good. That is a beautiful version of that dress. Mm -hmm. And she's dancing with um, garland around her, which if you were really to do that and that was real, you'd be covered in sap. It would Aww. be sticky. And Maurice is there. Aw, Disney dads. And the wardrobe. And that girl. That's awesome. Yay! We love that. Thank you. All right, so I think the last thing are thematic gifts. So I see a box that says two, Tim for the present, and two, John for the present. Should I do my, I'll do my present first. And it comes in this beautiful silver wrapping paper with a black bow and what was so cute is all these little tags they're like wooden and then she wrote on them in sharpie and in pen they're beautiful and what's so funny about the way they label their categories of something to display in the present mm -hmm. is very uh reminiscent of how we uh categorize present mm -hmm. past and future as well so great minds do think alike all right Ooh, a blue box, mm. which, may, oh, which means it's a showcase box or a four to four. Oh, look at that. And beautiful, I mean, a Merry Christmas mm -hmm. card over the side. These are so nice. It's another one of those postcards. Right? Four to four. I don't think it's a tour de force. Or showcase, showcase collection. But what color are the blue box? That just means it's showcase? Mm -hmm. Like that big beast we have is... Um, but how do I tell them what the difference between a tour de force You'll be and able a showcase? It'll say on the bottom. Oh. Disney's so complicated. Oh my gosh, the anticipation. <laughs> what is this? Oh my gosh. That is stunning. Oh, I know why they gave this to me, because of toes. Because <laughs> I'll always think of Gwen and toes. Oh my god, look at Eric's booty, jeez. Right? Oh, oh my god, her dress. I had such a crush on him in this scene when I was a kid. Like, because he was all just been like washed ashore for like the second time. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow. And it has like the same base that like the Moana, like it makes it a scene. <laughs> Oh, I love, thank you. So Eric is like one of my original like core foundational memories of like someone that I was like, that guy's really handsome. I like that fella. And like became probably the archetypal for archetype for like how I found my prince right there. Right, dark hair, so nice. <laughs> so here is, forget about her. Here, look at Eric. She looks stunning. I know she does. She actually looks great, and I love her, because we'll show her in a moment. But look at handsome Eric looking up. Oh, I like this theme of, like, princes looking up at people. That's really cute. And then there's Eric, and what is so great always about this scene is that he's wearing the pants with the, because uh, this is his technically wedding look. And so he's wearing the pants with, like, the uh, gold stripe, which I love, and as Tim said, his booty. And there he is with Gwen's toes, and there are Ariel's toes. And then let's really look at Miss Ariel. She is looking down at Eric. Her hair is looking fierce and full and beautiful. And then there she is at wash, being carried by the water to Eric. And you have this beautiful kind of acrylics feeling with the lighter, foamier edges on the top and white. So it really does look like water is moving. And there's the kind of sandy texture of the beach. And her dress is all glittery and gold. And look at her top and neckline of that dress. Stunning. And I love that even some of the glitter like has gotten her hair to create this like highlight and uh, shadow effect going on to really give her movement and depth as if she is truly coming out of the water to see Eric. I love that. And I like, oh. 
He, they're so great. And their faces look great. They're like normal looking people. They're not like overly stylized. Aww. Oh, so pretty. Oh, wait, does this have a name? I didn't even notice. It's called Ariel and Prince Eric. We're gonna have to move those. Yeah, so, we're like, gonna have we've to been just... putting all of our favorite figures on this shelf over here, so we'll probably put that there for now and then like figure out if it's gonna go on one of these shelves later. Yes. That's so pretty. Oh! That's, Thank you. Yeah, that's awesome. You always find the best figures that like I didn't know our thing. Like I can walk around the parks and the art places all day and I still never see some of this stuff. Mm -hmm. So thank you. And then mine is beautifully wrapped as well. It says to Tim something to display in the presents. Thank goodness Tati's not in here. She would try to eat the ribbons like a dummy. Flash forward to our flashback a year ago when Tati had a ribbon and we had to take her to the ER because I was worried that she was going to get a blockage and then she like, still continues to eat ribbons. <laughs> Comical if your cats do things that, or animal fur babies in general, that are like, you already learned this. How did you not figure this out yet? Okay, I have a red box, which you guys know means a gym shore. And they did um, cover it up with one of those really nice cards again. Like, I really like I those. like that idea. Yeah. Yeah. We're probably going to put some of them on our Christmas card thing. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Wow. Okay. <laughs> this is always a process. Oh, oh my God, speaking of my frozen kick, I wanted this one so bad. Yes. Oh, I almost got this for you for Christmas, but I'm glad I did it now. Yes, and this is from Frozen 2, which is a great movie. Oh my gosh. I think I like Frozen 2 better. I don't know. The details on Olaf. Well, because Anna's mm -hmm. hair, or Elsa's hair is down, and she looks so pretty in that dress. Oh my god. Oh, and they finally got that dress right, with like the different color of like the, um... Uh, diamonds. That's so pretty. So this is called the Carved by a Heart, I think? Is it? Maybe? Let me try to get this thing. So is this considered part of the same, like, style and series as, like, the Moana one because of the frame around it, or is it not? No. Okay. The Moana is not a card by heart. So, um, this is connected through love. Oh, so I guess this isn't a card by heart because the card by hearts have, like, wood down here, mm. but this is just a base. Oh, my God. The background looks stunning. I love the way, um, Sven looks. The girlies look beautiful. We don't have many um, frozen gym shores or anything. We just have the um, Elsa and the Kristoff that John just got me this year. Elsa we got, I got from him from Christmas last year. And those are the only frozen ones we have. Yay! So th this is so exciting. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. We want to do a frozen shelf. So look at how beautiful Elsa looks. They have the little, like, um, what are those, like, four different spirit? Oh, like, yeah, the earth, er, earth, air, water, and gem, fire. Gem things. Yeah. You have Sven and Olaf looking adorable. There's Anna. I will say Kristoff does look a little funky in his face, but when you turn him to the side, he really looks like him. <laughs> but I love that. And then there's all of these, like, beautiful frozen um, gems again on the bottom. And then you could really see these difference in backgrounds better on the back. So you have, like, the earth one of the stone. You have the fire forest. Aww. You have the regular forest, which is the wind. And then the frozen up there. This is so pretty. Oh my god, I'm so excited. And then even Anna's dress has like a bunch of different, this kind of looks like her um, Elsa's ice palace a little, which kind of would make sense because like the queen gave the new queen something. Oh, look at a little. 
This is so pretty. Yay! Okay, so then the last thing I see in here are a gift for Timmy and a gift for John to use in the future. And they were wrapped in these beautiful sacks. This one says Candy Cane Co. and Peppermint, making the season sweet. Who's after Peppermint? Um, and then this says Johnny to use in the future. And based on its feeling and in the inside, I think... We know what these are. I know that this is something to carry. And the nice thing about it being in the future is that hopefully I can use it in the future when I, we see them. <laughs> Let's unwrap the beautiful sack. Oh, I got something I really wanted because I'm so happy by it. Because I've been sitting on not getting this loud fire the last time for my birthday this year. Oh, I no, almost this bought is this. a different one <gasps> than the one you put on your list. Because the, the, they asked me, they're like, does Johnny really want this honeydews one? Because it's it's one of those like cheap like not lounge hot topic. Ones. I know, like, but that was the only one they had at the park. Yeah, but it was really crunchy. And then they this is um, Lounge Fi official from um, Universal. Okay, Powell. this is way better. And I was then. like, he would like that one way better. See, thank you, ladies, for checking in with Tim because oftentimes I don't know what I even want. And so, <laughs> so thank you because I have so many lounge like Disney ones but I actually don't have any Harry Potter ones so now in setting my intent intention to have more Harry Potter stuff next year and wear more like emeralds and greens I have this adorable Honeydukes lounge fly which I love because it wasn't house specific so I can wear it with Hogwarts stuff and I can wear it with Slytherin stuff so I was trying to cover all my bases so let's start with the front and there's this beautiful Honeydukes gold charm in this like enamel or like overlay. Oh, this is stunning, you guys. Thank you. And then there is a large front pocket, and in the... F and I've never had one like this. I'm excited to wear this, where I can just, like, put my phone and other flat things in this front pocket. And then what I love is that this bag looks very large, which is oftentimes not the case I with like the colors. Yes! So yeah, without the front pocket, you actually have like so much more space, and it kind of, the uh, pattern looks like a black and white like checked tile floor, like in an old like candy shoppy, or like, what's those things that, a malt shop, like Riverdale, like Pop Tates. So inside that, but what Tim was saying, this beautiful teal color that even goes with, look how well that looks with this even. Mm -hmm. That's cute. And beautiful gold hardware. Oh my gosh. Together, you guys are are smart. You 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 did pick the better one because I always yeah, thought that other only one's one. straps were like really bad. Like these and, are actually leather straps. And what's great is you have a chocolate frog. You have a rat. I don't know what toy can do that. You have some feathers. Some ever loving jelly beans. Oh, this is so cute. Thank you. <laughs> oh, and I love like the pink. I just love like the candy shoppy aesthetic. It's like pastel and whimsically and like it doesn't feel like as fem feminine because it's it's the straps are blue and so it just reads like whimsical candy and sweets not like as necessarily like gender specific so oh you guys did so well and thank you for being smarter than me so <laughs> thank you guys this is so thoughtful and i definitely will use this in the future uh at to see you or at the parks again so yay oh my gosh the next time i'll probably be at harry potter land in universe in orlando will be when epic universe land opens and we can go to the third harry potter gate mm -hmm. a peri a peri all right so mine says north pole from the santa claus did you say that santa said you were nice uh-huh always nice <laughs> 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 yes <laughs> i think i got it and voila let's see who do i have so i have a lounge fly is it is it a lounge fly is it a lounge fly <gasps> oh my gosh it's oh i wanted her so much and she was kind of like a hidden release like, not many people saw, like, this come out. You know how, like, all of those Instagram accounts always, like, say everything? 
It's Aurora Face Bag, my favorite princess. And in pink. And I think this was like an Amazon only or something like weird. Oh, she is beautiful. So, you know how you talk to Lauren about your lounge fly? I also talk to Lauren about your lounge fly. Uh, and I may have had to get another lounge fly for our swap together because Lauren had already gotten you this lounge fly. So, I'm very glad we talked. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh my god, he'll love it because I already, I know he'll love it because I got him one. So, you keep yours. It was you great. know what's funny? The one you got me is the same um, collection as this because oh. look at the back. You know how Cinderella was there with like a circle thing? It's So I think they're doing all of the princesses. And her face continues. She has that beautiful smile. <gasps> oh my god, this is gorgeous. I don't think I'll ever wear it. Because no. it's a collection piece. But like, I wanted it so much. And you know what I really no never noticed about this because I didn't open it? Is that the sequin on the side isn't like an actual sequin. It's like, it's... They're, they they yeah. they glossed it, so it doesn't nice. feel like rough and doesn't get all over your fingers. Oh my God, she's beautiful! Thank you guys. Look at Aurora in pink, which is the only way it should be. And then her face, her crown, and then her face does continue there because she's so pretty. And then the um, pink Disney lounge light placard. The um, crown is the. Piece. And then, yeah, this does have pockets, which has the pink um, thing there, the pink straps. And then the back, I always find it interesting, and like the Cinderella one. Like, it's just kind of, I get the vines are cool, because that's very Maleficent. And then there's her just, like, smiling, looking all pretty. I like that, like, it was changing to blue, but, like, um, Flora was, like, no merry weather. Blue is going to be in the back where no one sees. And then the inside print, I'll show this side, is Aurora in pink, Aurora in blue. There's all three fairies. And then um, the ones that are hidden are like the spindle and her dancing with Philip. That's beautiful. And then, interesting, they put the, um, oh, it is a zipper here. This is so pretty. And then there's Rose Gold's, um, hardware. Oh, I love her, me and Aurora. Oh my god, <laughs> she is so pretty. Her, like, her fit, her eye, like, she is, that is a beautiful, like, her eyes are so expressive and, like, stunning. Yeah, they're so nice. Uh, I'm so oh, happy. Oh. Now we have, I have four princesses. And two princes? Three princes. No, two princes. Aladdin. They haven't made Eric yet. We have Aladdin. Yeah, we do. We have Aladdin and Beast. They've never oh, made Oh, as a face bag. Yet. No, not as a face bag. Oh my gosh, thank you guys so much. You guys did so well. You spoiled us so Indeed, much. You truly did. Like, this is all stuff we don't have, which is very rare for us. Normally in swaps, we have at least one item. We don't have anything. No. You guys did incredible. And you, like, got so much stuff that was on our wish list that you wouldn't things, even have known about that we've only talked about. Things that, like, I took screenshots of to look for when we were there. Right. Now like, we it's crazy to. how, like, you read our minds. Wow. Oh, uh, this, this just makes so us nice. excited that we will literally see you a week from today filming this. So that yes. is exciting. We get to see we're seeing you now. We're seeing you now. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be so great. We love you guys so much. Thank you again for doing this swap with us. It was so amazing. Like, you made our day. Make sure all of you guys out there go watch their video and support them. You also will see what we got them. You'll have to let us know also what some of your favorite items were. Like, we can't pick favorites. No. Everything, like, they nailed on that. But if you have the movie night uh, popcorn set, you can uh, be like a trio with the three of us. Because <laughs> that's so cute. Yeah. Oh, this was awesome. Yes. So Thank you. Thank you, and we hope everyone has a great Christmas. 
please give this video a thumbs up. Yes, if you're not a subscriber and enjoy Disney game, pop culture, and lifestyle related content, we hope you consider hitting that subscribe button to be notified of our future videos. And if you are a subscriber, thank you so much for joining us. We can't wait to see you in tomorrow's Vlogmas video. Until next time, take care and be well. Bye. Bye.